Locked and rusted locks still sit on the gates of the McDuffie County shelters, the animal shelters. Yet progress on the inside paints a different picture of what's to come from the new director hired after previous director, the previous director resigned four months into the job. After finding allegations of abuse and neglect, plans were for the shelter to be open by this time. Despite the new setbacks, the new director is trying to get the shelter up and running as quickly as she can. As our Will Rio reports, all of these changes are still happening during the middle of the GBI's investigation. Almost a year ago, the McDuffie County Animal Shelter shackled their front gates, temporarily closing it to the community. Certainly we would have rather been open by now, but I think that, you know, the things that are holding us back from being open right now are things that can't be completed until they're completed. After finally finding a new director for the shelter to take the reins, Wendy Ivey left the job after four months, tightening the county's collar. And I, I knew what I was getting into. Michaela McLean now takes over as the newest animal services director. I, I felt like I would be a good candidate to help help the animals, help the community. She was the lead finalist until Ivy entered the picture. McLean worked with the shelter through her previous job at a local company. I've always been a strong advocate of the shelter and the community and I felt like that was a good role that I could try to take on and it's um, it's really been a dream to, to be able to step in and kind of help build from the ground up again. Educating the community, proper housing for pets, a spay and neuter program, and foster care program are at the top of the priority list for McLean. I have no concerns about her being able to handle this position moving forward. Uh, we're just, we're on the right foot and we're going to keep on this path. I can rise to the challenge and, and I'm ready for whatever is thrown at me. In McDuffie County, Will Rio on your side. And the shelter still needs a supervising vet so the shelter can reopen, but the county says that's been a big struggle. We've been reporting on that for quite a while, the shortage in vets. They've replaced all the flooring and the ceiling and the entire inside was painted, but there's still plumbing and some ventilation work to be done. The county expects the shelter to open in early fall.